Alan Side Trooper and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install custom weapons into your guys' 5M server for free. First thing you guys are going to want to do is find yourself a gun pack. If you guys do want to install the gun pack I'm using now, then feel free to do so. But if you guys do want to install a different one, then you can also do that. It's pretty much the exact same way for every single gun. As you guys can see here, the gun pack is an M4A1, a Glock 17, an X26 Taser, a Remington 870 shotgun. So it's a really, really nice rarity of guns, especially if you guys are looking to be a police officer in your server. What you guys want to do is hit the link down in the description below. Then what you guys are going to want to do is hit download, wait for it to finish. Once it is done, open your download on up and go inside of your weapons folder. And go inside of the next weapons folder and you should be able to see that there is, is a couple more folders with the corresponding name to each gun. Now if you go inside of here, that is going to be your stream folder, which is pretty much where your gun files are that you would normally install into GTA 5 story mode. So to install this, what you guys are going to want to do is go back to where we have this folder here with the brackets. Open up your file explorer. And then go to whatever drive your 5M server installed on. If you watched my previous video on how to install a 5M server, it will be on your C drive. Go to FX server. Go to PX data. Choose your default base, go to resources, and from here we're going to grab this weapons folder and drag and drop it into our resources folder. Now if you guys don't remember, the brackets on the end and the beginning of each word basically means that your 5M server will ignore it and it will go straight to the folders inside. So now that means we have to make sure for these games to run that we add it to our server.cfg. So to do so, what you guys are going to want to do is go to server.cfg. Open that on up. And then we're going to go enter and enter again. And we're going to type hashtag hashtag guns. And this is to ensure that our server.cfg is nice and tidy. And the hashtags mean that your server will not read anything afterwards. Hashtags basically just mean letting the server know that it is not a command. Now what you guys are going to want to do is type ensure. Go back to your download and go inside of that weapons folder. And now we're going to need to do this four times for each gun. So ensure and then the X26. It doesn't really matter what order you do it in as long as you have them all loaded. And then ensure and the M4. Ensure and the G17. And then ensure and the 870. You can then hit save and you can close out of that. But now if you guys do want to be able to spawn them in through your guys' weapon menu, what you guys are going to want to do is go in to your guys' resources, go into menus, go into V menu, and go into config. You should be able to see here that you'll have a add-ons.json. And then if you see under weapons, pretty much just like your cars, if you watched the previous video, we're going to be adding it in the exact same way. Go inside of your weapons folder inside of the stream and you're going to want to copy the name in between all of the file type words so for your stun gun it's just going to be stun gun so paste that in here and then for your next gun it's going to be our m4 and then to saw this one in what you guys are going to do is go in through carbine rifle ar carbine rifle copy and paste that your game now do a comma to ensure that your line will carry on to the next code hit enter copy and paste move on to our next gun which is the g17 go into stream again and copy and paste the word in the middle control v and then our very last one which is our 870, go to stream and do the exact same step, copying and pasting the very last line of code. Actually, we need to add one more line of code again. And you can delete the comma here. You don't actually have to, but if you want to be uniform, you can, just so it won't move on to another line that isn't there. And then you can copy and paste the pump shotgun bit. And then you can close out of that. Save it, and just like that, you guys have successfully installed add-on guns into your guys' 5M server. Now, to spawn these in, all you guys are going to do 
just go inside of your 5M server, go into your trainer and spawn in the corresponding name. So pump shotgun, taser, carbine rifle, and you guys should be able to see that they will load into your game perfectly fine, replacing the guns that were previously inside of your game. So if you guys did find this video useful, if you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what video you guys want to see next. There will be a tutorial coming very, very shortly on how to make it so your people can join your 5M server to make it a public server so all your friends can play with you. It is a little bit complicated and it does take a little bit of time to edit since I have to blur out a bunch of stuff. But I will, I will get to that in time. So please be patient and just make sure you guys turn on that notification bell so you guys are here for when it goes up. And it will probably be at the end of this week or the beginning of next week. So be sure to tune in for that. Other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers and goodbye.